Tablet X, the key of time. List ye, O man. Take of my wisdom. Learn of his deep hidden mysteries of space. Learn of the thought that grew in the abyss, bringing order and harmony in space. Know ye, O man, that all exists has been only because of the law. Know ye the law and ye shall be free, never be bound by the fetters of night. Far, through strange spaces, have I journeyed into the depth of the abyss of time, until in the end all was revealed. 79. Know ye that mystery is only mystery when it is knowledge unknown to man. When ye have plumbed the heart of all mystery, knowledge and wisdom will surely be thine. Seek ye and learn that time is the secret whereby ye may be free of this space. Long have I, wisdom, sought wisdom, I, and shall seek of eternity's end for know that ever before me receding shall move the goal I seek to attain. Even the lords of the cycles know that not yet have they reached the goal, for with all of their wisdom, they know that truth ever grows. Once, in a past time, I spoke to the dweller. Asked of the mystery of time and space. Asked him the question that surged in my being, saying, O Master, what is time? Then to me spoke he, the Master, Know ye, O Thoth, in the beginning there was void and nothingness, a timeless, spaceless, nothingness. And into the nothingness came a thought, purposeful, all-pervading, and it filled the void. There existed no matter, only force. A movement, a vortex, or vibration. Of the purposeful thought. 80. That filled the void. And I questioned the master, saying, Was this thought eternal? And answered me the dweller, saying, In the beginning, there was eternal thought, and for thought to be eternal, time must exist. So into the all-pervading thought grew the law of time. I time which exists through all space, floating in a smooth, rhythmic movement that is eternally in a state of fixation. Time changes not, but all things change in time. For time is the force that holds events separate, each in its own proper place. Time is not in motion, but you move through time as your consciousness moves from one event to another. I, by time yet exist, all in all, an eternal one existence. Know ye that even though in the time ye are separate, yet still are one, in all times existent. Ceased then the voice of the dweller, and departed I to ponder on time. 81. For knew I that in these words lay wisdom and a way to explore the mysteries of time. Oft did I ponder the words of the dweller. Then sought I to solve the mystery of time. Found I that time moves through strange angles. Yet only by curves could I hope to attain the key that would give me access to the time space. Found I that only by moving upward and yet again by moving to right ward could I be free from the time of the movement. Forth I came from out of my body, moved in the movements that changed me in time. Strange were the sights I saw in my journeys, many the mysteries that opened to view. I, saw I man's beginning, learned from the past that nothing is new. Seek ye, O man, to learn the pathway that leads through the spaces that are formed forth in time. Forget not, O man, with all of thy seeking that light is the goal ye shall seek to attain. Search ye for the light on thy pathway and ever for thee the goal shall endure. Let not thine heart turn ever to darkness. Light let shine so be, a sun on the way. Know ye that eternal brightness, ye shall ever find thy soul hid in light never fettered by bondage or darkness. 82. Ever it shines forth a sun of the light. I, know, though hidden in darkness, your soul, a spark of the true flame, exists. Be ye one with the greatest of all lights. Find at the source, the end of thy goal. Light is life, for without the great light nothing can ever exist. Know ye, that in all formed matter, the heart of light always exists. I, even though bound in the darkness, inherent light always exists. Once I stood in the halls of Armenti and heard the voice of the lords of Armenti, saying in tones that rang through the silence, words of power, mighty and potent. Chanted they the song of the cycles, the words that opened the path to beyond. I, I saw the great path opened and looked for the instant into the beyond. Saw I the movements of the cycles, vast as the thought of the source could convey. 
Knew I then even infinity is moving on to some unthinkable end. Saw I that the cosmos is order and part of a movement that extends to all space. A party of an order of orders. Constantly moving in a harmony of space. Saw I the wheeling of cycles. 83. Like vast circles across the sky. Knew I then that all that has been is growing to meet yet another being in a far-off grouping of space and of time. Knew I then that in words are power to open the planes that are hidden from man. I, that even in words lies hidden the key that will open above and below. Hark ye, now man, this word I leave with thee. Use it and ye shall find power in its sand. Say ye the word, Z-I-N-U-R-U, and power ye shall find. Yet must ye understand that man is of light and light is of man. List ye, O man, and hear a mystery stranger than all that lies neath the sun. Know ye, O man, that all space is filled by worlds within worlds, I, one within the other yet separate by lore. Once in my search for deep buried wisdom, I open the door that bars them from man. Called I from the other planes of being, one who was fairer than the daughters of men. I, I called her from out of the spaces, to shine as a light in the world of men. Used I the drum of the serpent. Wore I the robe of the purple and gold. 84. Pla placed on my head, I, the crown of silver. Around me the circle of cinnabar shone. Raised I my arms and cried the invocation that opens the path to the plains beyond, cried to the lords of the signs in their houses, Lords of the two horizons, watchers of the treble gates, stand ye one at the right and one at the left as the star rises to his throne and rules over his sign. I, thou dark prince of Arudu, open the gates of the dim, hidden land and release her whom ye keep imprisoned. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye, dark lords and shining ones, and by their secret names, names which I know and can pronounce, hear ye and obey my will. Lit I then with flame my circle and called her in the space planes beyond. Daughter of light return from Arudu. Seven times and seven times have I passed through the fire. Food have I not eaten. Water have I not drunk. I call thee from Arudu, from the realms of Ikishkal. I summon thee, Lady of Light. 85. Then before me rose the dark figures, I, the figures of the lords of Arulu. Parted they before me and forth came the Lady of Light. Free was she now from the lords of the night, free to live in the light of the earth sun, free to live as a child of the light. Hear ye and listen, O my children. Magic is knowledge and only is lore. Be not afraid of the power within thee for it follows lore as the stars in the sky. Know ye that to be without knowledge, wisdom is magic and not of the lore. But know ye that ever ye by your knowledge can approach closer to a place in the sun. List ye, my children, follow my teaching. Be ye ever seeker of light. Shine in the world of men all around thee, a light on the path that shall shine among men. Follow ye and learn of my magic. Know that all force is thine if thou wilt. Fear not the path that leads thee to knowledge, but rather shun ye the dark road. Light is thine, O man, for the taking. Cast off the fetters, and thou shalt be free. Know ye that thy soul is living in bondage fettered by fears that hold ye in thrall. Open thy eyes and see the great sunlight. 86. Be not afraid, for all is thine own. Fear is the lord of the dark Arudu to he who never faced the dark fear. I know that fear has existence created by those who are bound by their fears. Shake off thy bondage, O children, and walk in the light of the glorious day. Never turn thy thoughts to the darkness, and surely ye shall be one with the light. Man is only what he believeth, a brother of darkness or a child of the light. Come thou into the light, my children. Walk in the pathway that leads to the sun. Hark ye now, and list to the wisdom. Use thou the word I have given unto thee. Use it, and surely thou shalt find power and wisdom and light to walk in the way. Seek thee and find the key I have given, and ever shalt thou be a child of the light.